hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how easily you can install invoke ai locally on your system manually this tool invoke or invoke ai is a text to image or image to image generation tool which not only provides an easy interface for image generation but also provides you a lot of other features such as it has got a support for ckpt and diffusion or diffuser, diffuser models plus it supports flux stxl uh, stable diffusion 1.5 2 and lot of other models it also provides you some of the upscaling tools some embedding manager model manager and also node-based architecture so we are going to install it and then we will see how it works also there is a free version there is a paid version i am not going to touch the paid version at all so all i'm going to do is to just install this free version locally which is apache 2 license and then we will see how it works i will be using ubuntu 22.04 but you can do the same on mac or windows and i will also tell you what you need to do if you are using for example a windows system before i move forward let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus so do check them out coming back to this invoke ai let's go to our terminal and then start installing it so you see that i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have this one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram courtesy mast compute first up let's create a virtual environment for creating it it is not a mandatory um, step but i would highly encourage you to do it just to keep your system separate from it and meanwhile that happens let me take you to the github repo of this invoke ai we need to download the installer so just scroll up here and i will drop the link to it in video description just click on this releases once you click on it you will be presented to this screen where all the latest releases are just scroll down and there are a lot of stuff there so you just go to the end of the page from here just simply download this zip file so right click on it save link as and save it on your local system i'm just going to put it in the download directory here so it shouldn't take too long i think it's already done which is cool now once it is downloaded go back to your system and then go to where you have downloaded it and then if you do ls-ltr you will see that invoke ai is at the very end for that let's unzip it and that's unzipped let me clear the screen and cd into that invoke ai installer and then let me show you the contents of this now here you see that we have two files one is install.sh install.bat if you are using linux or mac just use install.sh if you are using windows use install.bat and for windows either run it through powershell dot slash install.bat or just double click on it from your uh, file explorer so i i will be using linux so i also need to first make it executable it is already executable but just if you don't see it in on some linux flavors you have to set, set this permission and then run this here in order to start the installation it is going to take bit of a time because it is initializing the installer it is downloading a lot of stuff so let's wait for it to finish as i said that takes takes bit of a time okay now it is asking us that some of the instruction steps take a long time to run be patient if the script appears to be hang for more than 10 minutes please interrupt with control c okay so we are in there so it is saying enter to install the recommended release so i'm just going to press enter here and then yep i think i will just install it here so it is saying that it will be installed here yes and then it is going to as i said it is going to install a lot of things on the system now this is interesting so you see that i have already have got nvidia gpu so it is asking you that which gpu 
driver you want so because i'm on the modern gpu so i'm just going to say that number one if you're running very old gpu then go with two three or four and if you don't have a gpu at all you have a cpu just select four so i'm just going to say the one it is going to install a lot of things now so let's wait for it to finish and after five minutes it has eventually installed it and you can see that installation is successful next up we need to start it for that we would need to run this invoke.sh script so let me also show you so if i after install installation when you do ls-ltr here then you might not see that invoke.sh here because this is not the directory where we have installed it if you remember we gave it the directory and i believe it was in my home directory so if i go there and do ls-ltr there should be an invoke ai directory there is so let's go into that one and now if you do the ls-ltr you should see that invoke.sh there and it is already um, in the executable format as you can see on the very left hand side this is executable but just in case if it isn't just run this command and then in order to start just run this here invoke.sh and then it is asking you what would you like to do generate image using the browser based interface open that developer console and all that stuff so i'm just because you just want to generate images so i'm selecting one and it is starting up so let's wait and you can see at the very line it is saying that it is now running at this port 1990 on your local system so let me go there and try to run it it is starting up and there you go we have our invoke ai up and running on your local system at port 1990 and of course we don't have any models at the moment and just to give you a very quick overview of this let me walk you through through this interface which is not that hard to understand by the way so i'm just going to cancel here cancel here and we will see what is happening so before i show you this let me also give a huge thanks to agent ql who are sponsoring this video agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use a browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page and i will also drop the link to their website in videos description okay let's go back to invoke ai and this is a community edition of invoke ai which we are checking and you see if you start from the left there is a canvas and then uh, there is a upscaling there is some workflows so if you have worked with comfy ui you know workflows are there's the node based uh, interface which i by the way love i think comfy ui is by far the most best software in order to do all of this image generation but that is my personal preference there are various other good tools too anyway so you see this is over the model tabs where there are a lot of options to install model either you could just give a direct url uh, to CVTI's website to CVTI or hugging face are two of the top um, I would say websites so for example if you go to CVTI it hosts a lot of model and then you see there are models here maybe you just say dream shaper and then maybe enter here so let's wait for it to load and this is the first very famous dream shaper 8 model and then it is going to load so if you want to get this model directly from CVTI you see this download arrow here on the right hand side which says download right click on it copy the link from here go to invoke and then just paste your link here and then click on install and also it if you just if you already have a model you want to you know make it part of this you just click on in place install so I will just click install here for the sake of it uh, I don't think so I have it already but anyway you see it is just downloading the model and installing it similarly you can do it with hugging face 
you can scan a folder for any model and then it also provides you some of the starter models here on the right hand side which you can readily download uh, this is st 1.5 which is i'm downloading okay so i don't want this okay it already so this is the problem with this that it already has started downloading this model one which i didn't want it to happen so i'm just going to click here cancel cancel I don't want it I don't want it I don't want it it already did that I don't know why so and these are the things which I really don't like about this software that it does a lot of things without even us asking so it already had downloaded a lot of crap okay so let's forget this so let's go back here it already has downloaded the model as you can see so I'm just going to uh, do some in painting and so these are important like for in painting and out painting but anyway let's keep it here so and this is a textual inversion i already have covered it on my channel so this is a dream shaper 8 which is quite versatile model so you can select here you can click on you know you see there is an add model here so if you go back to your uh, so let's click here and you see that now we have on our main screen so now if you look at this screen you see that uh, one means at the very top on the top right one means the number of images you want to generate you can increase it of course like whatever you want to generate and it will display them on the right hand side and then this is where it is going to show it to the gallery you see on the right hand side gallery is displayed the other option is to send it to canvas the canvas is where you can also do some in painting out painting cropping and image editing and if you click on this hamburger sign there is some gallery there are some boards which you can create which enable you to classify or just to you know arrange your images so you can also select a prompt template if you like they also have some default template or if you want you can have your own so for example i just want to generate this image that a medieval knight in polished silver armor i don't with this 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 for negative prompt this is what you don't want it in your images so <clears throat> something uh you know you don't want in images you can just give it here okay and then these are some of the image resolutions which you can check out i'm scrolling down this is a dream shaper model you can select any other model if you have it and it is telling you what sort of a model that is and then there are some advanced uh, stuff you can set up your cfg which is a guidance scale as how you can guide um, the image to be created so this is for prompt adherence and a lot of other stuff which you can select but i'm not going to go with that one in order to create them you simply click on invoke and you see that it has been queued and the queue is working you can also check it from here this is how the diffusion process is working there you go so we have our medieval knight doing stuff here and it has put send it to the uh, gallery so this is a gallery you can categorize this with the board so you just add a new board for example you just want to create a board for all the medieval knights you can arrange it similarly you don't want to send it here you want to send it to the canvas you can give another image so for instance despite of uh, you know except this one i'm just going to create a majestic crimson golden fire dragon named infernox so let's uh, and in, and i'm just sending it to canvas now so let's click on invoke and then let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time and you see that now it is showing us this thing on the canvas and if you don't see it just click on this canvas and then click on this link here you should be able to see the canvas this is one way of, one way of doing it and you can also just click here or click here and it is going to expand this thing now this is where you see that there is a bounding box or b box which you can change of course if you like you can do in painting and you can erase it you can do cropping you can manipulate the image here and in painting is quite good in this one if you want to do that so simply you can just apply your mask here and then do the in painting out painting i will do another video on that one but it is just same as in painting out painting if you have done in in comfy ui or automatic 1111 
also if you want to move around just press space bar and move it so like this so this is just a um, bit different here also if you want to regenerate it just click on this yellow and this is going to regenerate this one there you go so pretty good eye so just click here and then you can of course close it from here or do whatever you like so that's it guys i just wanted to give you this brief overview of how to install this own invoke AI manually on your local system and play around with it and then how you can do the basic functions for me uh, if you ask me i mean out of comfy ui automatic 11 11 easy diffusion and then there are heaps of other which we already have covered on the channel i would say that for me i mean the tool of choice is still comfy ui but this one is not bad at all uh, if you just want to start out if you just want to have an easy installation want to create an images from text and want all of it in one location i think not a bad tool at all and you can already see that the quality is quite good and that is also the credit goes to the model too but still i think th this tool is not bad at all so that's it let me know what are your thoughts in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps Thank you for watching.